everyone! Welcome to the second annual We're Marky Awards, where I hand out We're Markies to all the best and the worst things that came out in 2023. Even though it doesn't mean anything, but it's something that looks nice on the box. My name is Dil Koto, or DD for short, and my pronouns are they, them. I don't know if I mentioned that yet. So, why am I still rambling about a remarky? Let's just get on the awards. That's why you clicked on this video, right? To find out what's the best and what's the worst of 2023. Let's go on to our first award. I'm handy out. Our first award we're handing out today on the Remarkies is the Friendship Award, aka also known as the best multiplayer game of this year. So, who's going to win it? But first, here's the nominations. The Friendship Award nominees are Boulder's Gate 3, Street Fighter 6, Super Mario Brothers Wonder, Party Animals, Friendship Award goes to Baldur's Gate 3! Cause it's so much easier to get a time set up to play this game than it is a actual D&D session, I mean, come on. And the best part is, sometimes, if you don't have any friends, you can play this by yourself. Anyway, people like rolling dice! And also, they don't, can't shut up about Asarian. I get it! You want to f a star in? God, okay. This is getting weird. How is this the friendship award again? And the loser of the worst Metacritic score is whatever this is. I mean, come on. Like, what is this? God, not like they can't make a good whatever this is. <laughs> I mean, it can't be worse. <laughs> Or can it? And the winner of the best Metacritic score goes to... Wait, what do you mean it's a tie? Oh, because they have the same score. Got it. One has... Hot Daddy Daddy Ganondorf. And the other has a... Scene where you f*** a bear. Nope, nope, nope. I, I don't see any problem with this. They both deserve it. I wonder, what was the best anime or TV show that came out this year? Well, only way to find out. Roll the nominations! The nominations for best TV show and anime are... Scott Pilgrim takes off. Chomo-chan is a girl. One Piece. Live action. Sonic Prime. And the winner of the best TV show slash anime, Remarky, is Scott Pilgrim Takes Off and the One Piece live action. Wait, what do you mean there's a tie? Uh, you, we couldn't do a coin flip for this? Okay. I guess they both win! Everyone's happy! Shockingly, I think this is the first year that I watch a whole lot of movies. I mean, can you blame me? But before we talk about the best movie of this year, we gotta talk about the worst. We can, I said there's gonna be some losers, and I'm gonna f*** out. Band base was this one, because <laughs> there's no really thing, um, Five Nights at Freddy's. Get the crappy Remarky, cause it's a crappy movie. I'm sorry when a death scene that's supposed to be a horror movie makes me laugh my ass off. You're doing something wrong, and I don't care. Air about, oh, it's about the lore and the things. No, it's, it, it didn't make any sense. It was boring as hell. I mean, the animatronics did look really good. I will give it that. So, so we 
talked about the worst movie, e even though I passed that fan phase, probably. But anyway, wh what is the best movie of the 2023? Well, here's the nominees of the best movie. The nominations for the best movie are Godzilla minus one, TNT Mutant Mayhem, Spider Man Cross the Spider Verse, Push and Boots, The Last Wish, the Super Mario Brothers movie, and the winner of the best remarky goes to. Spider-Man Cross the Spider-Verse! Oh, hey, look, that Spider-Man band boy picked Spider-Man Cross the Spider-Verse as their favorite movie. Wow, what a shock. I mean, this is probably the one of the best Spider-Man things that came out this year! Probably. I mean, a lot better than the comics. I mean... God, the comics suck right now, and I can't believe the thing is the thing, and the, the, the uh, amazing Spider-Man just sucks. Don't tell me to wrap up. I'm going on a freaking rant about comics. Why I did not put a remarky comic thing, because he was going to be amazing Spider-Man, and everybody knows it, and then that's a thing, and the cut it. I'm a wrestling fan. Of course, I'm gonna hand out remarkies to wrestling content because I love wrestling. Why would I? So, our first award to wrestling is. 30, 30, oh, we're kicking off with the worst show of the year. Okay. Uh, so here's the nominees for the worst show of this year. The nominations for the worst. Wrestling show are Fast Lane, Payback, Double or Nothing, Summer Slam, Crown Jewel, and the winner of the worst um, wrestling show of the year is Summer Slam. Congratulations, Summer. Here's your. Here's your. You're just boring. Well, we talked about the worst wrestling show this year, but what was the best wrestling show of this year? Well, here's the nominations first. The nominations for the best wrestling show of the year are Forbidden Door, WrestleMania 39, Night One, Wrestle Dream. Money in the bank. All in London. And the winner of the best wrestling show remarky is. Wait, that's. No, no, hang on, hang on. That's just for the crowd. That's not the real winner. But that crowd was amazing. The real winner, same city, but different promotion is all in London! Oh, this show had it all. Really great matches. Some duds on the pre-show. Don't want to talk about that match. And, like, the most funniest match I have ever seen in AEW. And just thinking about it just makes me laugh. <laughs> a match of a year contender too this was the best show it's time for oh come on do we have to talk about the worst wrestling match Ugh. fine show the nominees i'm going to take a nap the nominees for the worst Wrestling match of the year is Brock Lesnar versus Omos at WrestleMania 39. Jeff Hardy versus Jeff Jarrett in a Texas Chainsaw Cluster f match. Shayna Baszler versus Ronda Rousey at SummerSlam. John Cena versus Austin Theory at WrestleMania.
Dope. Ah! Wait, 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 hey, who, hey, when, how, hey, dang, hey, huh? Did we hand out the worst ma match of the year? Oh, we're Marky. Uh, eh, uh, uh. Time to find out what WWE's match of the year is. And here's the contenders. The nominations for WWE's match of the years are... Gunter vs. Sheamus vs. Drew McIntyre at WrestleMania 39. The Usos vs. Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn at WrestleMania 39. The Usos vs. The Bloodline at Money in the Bank. Rhea Ripley vs. Charlotte Flair at WrestleMania 39. WWE's match of the year remarking goes to... Walter vs. Sheamus vs. Drew McIntyre at WrestleMania 39. Oh my god, this match was so amazing. So hard hitting too. And also, why did this match not open the show? Oh, cause they already knew this match was going to steal the show. Especially on night two. We talked about WWE's match of the year. But what is AEW's match of the year? Well... Let's see who are the contenders for that throne. The nominations for AEW's match of the year are Hangman Adam Page vs. Serb Sicklin, MJF vs. Brian Danielson, Kenny Omega vs. Will Ospreay at the Forbidden Door, Adam Cole vs. MJF. CM Punk versus Samoa Joe at All In London. Kenny Omega versus Real Osprey at Wrestle Kingdom. And the AEW match of the year remarking winner is. I, I couldn't decide, but it is Kenny Omega versus Will Osprey. Either at Wrestle Kingdom or Bippin' Door. Pick your poison. I mean, uh, it's really hard. It's, uh, it, it's hard to pick which one I like better. So I'm just going to give it to both. I, <laughs> uh, I should probably give it to Wrestle Kingdom because it was a slightly better. But it, these guys knocked it out of the park. I mean, come on. It's time to celebrate the independent studios who make these awesome independent games. What is my independent game of the year? Or also known as the indie game of the year? Well, first, let's go to the nominees. The nominees for best indie games are... Sea of Stars, Bomb Rush Cyberfunk, Pizza Tower, my family neighborhood. Those are a lot of good indie games that came out this year. This was hard. I mean, you got like something about pizza, but unfortunately, food did not win. Instead, we're going to the cyberpunk of Bomb Rock Cyberpunk. Congratulations for being so funky and winning this remarky. That doesn't mean anything funky about this remarky. I will let you know once I figure out what the hell I just meant by that. But anyway, bomb us cyberpunk, here's your remarky. That's the bottom line, cause the dragon said so. You get disappointed with games? I know I have. And the winner of the most disappointing remarky award is... AEW Fight Forever! Man, this game was fun for the first like five hours and then it just kind of died. I don't know how else to word it. You know what? I feel like listening to some B game music right now. But are you doing a award show? I mean, I can still listen to music while recording me 
making a remarky about the best game that had the best video game soundtrack of all time. While I look for my headphones, here's the nominations for best video game soundtrack. The best video game soundtracks nominees are Bomb Rush Cyberpunk. Hi-Fi Rush Final Fantasy 16 Pizza Tower Well, here we are. What well, was time to talk about the most worst games of the year? I mean, to celebrate the best, we would have to find out what was the worst game this year. I mean, it's kind of obvious, but for some reason, there's a nomination for worst game of the year. Who designed this? That guy's an idiot. I mean, come on. Here's the nominations for the worst game of the year. Redfall, Skull Island, Rise of Kong, Lord of the Rings, Golem, The Day Before. How did this game get made? Like, how? Somebody, somebody explain how this game can be made into a video game that sells for this price, which is way too much for this game. Yeah, sorry about my language, ladies and gentlemen, and everything in the train, but do not play this game. We have one more remark to give out this year. What was the best games of this year? Well, six can ten, but only one can win the game of the year remarky award that looks really nice on the box, not gonna lie. And here are the nominations of Game of the Year! The nominees for Game of the Year are Liza P, Boulder's Gate 3, Hi-Fi Rush, Final Fantasy 16, Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, Marvel Spider-Man 2. <sighs> this award wasn't easy to figure out. All six of these games that I'm nominated are freaking ama amazing, and I recommend them. But, only one is this Dragon's Game of the Year. With saying that, all said and done, let's get the drum roll ready. And the winner of the Game of the Year remarky is... Final Fantasy XVI! This game just clicked for me compared to the other five games that I nominated. I I don't know what. And okay, maybe there's a little bit of bias of that about this game coming out on my birthday, but that's not here or there. This game, I had so much fun playing this. It, 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 it was just amazing from the voice cast being amazing to uh, Clyde being so live. <laughs> I mean, what? And freaking the boss battles to the music. I mean, it's not perfect, but to me, I this was my game of the year that I love 
so much this year. Just think, I love this game so much. Oh my god. And there's even DLC for it now. That as of the time this is recording, I have not played yet. Because reasons. Thank you for watching this year's Remarky Awards. Sponsored by... Uh, we don't have a sponsor. But anyway, I want to thank, thank you for everyone to watching this year's award. It's, I really appreciate it. And this is all my opinion based. Because everyone has an opinion. Maybe really, you think Spider-Man 2 was your game of the year. That's okay. Or you think Boulder Skate 3 was the game of the year. That's okay too. Um, you just have to roll for it. First. <laughs> but anyway, it doesn't matter what your game of the year or what your favorite movie is. Whatever. Just remember, it's all opinion based. And that's the point of this. This is all my opinion. But let me know what you think of my things and tell me what your game of the year what movie is your favorite this that came out this year favorite wrestling match favorite indie game worst wrestling match <laughs> worst movie even though i probably <laughs> a fan base with that <laughs> oh god i'm not looking forward to the bad club now community ripping me a new one like the bite of 87 anyway i've been Didi, and this has been this year's root marquee awards remember take care and i will see you in the next one bye guys god <laughs> i don't think for now this is a good movie